how do you feel about the uh, the Democratic win in the 2020 elections? Well, when I word the winning, mm -hmm. I would not say we won. <laughs> Like we got, we got this, we got this state, we got that state. I don't do that. It's like Democrats got this state. The Democrats got that state. Well, that's why I said, how do you feel about the twenty twenty? Well, I'm saying that's that that that's that's how I feel right? about it. It's, uh, uh, so you don't feel it's, it's 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 good in a sense, and I fear for the future. It's good that you fear for the future. No, it's good in a sense, and but I fear for the future. Oh, yeah, I think that's a given. I think it's a given that regardless of who had gotten elected or who has gotten elected that, um, that, I mean, one more than the other, though, you got to give it that, though. You yeah. know what I mean? You got to give it that. It'd be nice, it'd be nice to not to have a president that's not, like, constantly on my mind. Yes. Yes. Or like That's forcing exactly himself it. on me. Yeah. It's like Biden. There's, there's. You can take a day and and, and, and not, not worry think, and not think about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like um, like Thursday was it Thursday afternoon? You know when people are like, oh, we'll get the projections in. And Biden's like, no, he's not speaking tonight. You know, and it's just like good. You know, that's that's a very mature freaking decision. It's a mature fucking decision to be like, all right, let's take a day off. You know, there's nothing set in stone. Very patient. Like, even in his, in his thing that he said, he's like, we just got to be patient and wait and see. Yeah, there's not this uh, constant. Yeah, like he who must not be named. Constant. Just constant. Over and over and over again. Just, yeah. just trying to infect every thought you have is just like and like his his cult his cult is kind of like thinking about like it's called Trump derangement syndrome and they really have a derangement but the um, it's 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 unavoidable it's it's because it is this thing that is just sticking at you, just looks at you all day long. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that is he tweet, the he tweets a hundred times a day sometimes. I think <laughs> th I think that's a symptom of a bigger problem. This whole culty thing you're talking about. I think right now Americans and the world in general have like this this lack of lack of belonging. And you could see it in the way we tweet and the way we post. You know, we want to feel like we belong to our group of friends, you know, to our society. You know, like we want to see that we belong. And I think it's just they acted out in a way that's politically influencing, not socially. They think yes. they're taking their politics as like a social thing when politics isn't social. Politics is like a governing body that or the it stands for a governing body that you know, should be free of uh, opinion. You know, it should be, like, facts. It should be law. It should be what is the common good, what is ethical and moral. And I think they're taking it to be, like, their cultism or whatever you're talking about is... Isn't it? I imagine. Yeah, it's like... Because uh... you're one of a million. You're, like, one in a million. Because people like you don't really come around where it's just like, here, let me withdraw from society completely and have my opinions, but not step into anybody else's. I don't do that. <laughs> well, what do you do then? I'm pretty sure you do. You don't have a lawn sign. You don't post about it off. I mean, I don't know how much if you post about it. I'm not. I mean, I get into, I mean. Mine is more along the lines of I assume people know better, and when they don't, I have to like say say actually. something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I forgot about the shit posting you do when it comes to like not shit posting, but like trash talking when you're trying to like get people to like. Yeah, it's like I have, to, I have to slap. I have. To, I feel like I need to slap stupid out of people's yeah. faces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like put that down. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> All right, so Don't you touch are. That. So, so you are out there. 
I'd get into I'd get, I'd get into an internet argument like three times a day. Are you serious? Well, then how does that make you any better than Trump? I mean, Voldemort. Because I didn't ask for it. Because you didn't ask for it. Well, I, I don't. I don't post anything on my face uh, feed. I don't. I don't my, my feed is completely apolitical. Well, you see, like I'm ta- like I have uh, but, to- but 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 when but I also I also um, stay friends. With the people you disagree with? With people I disagree with. Yeah, but that because that's your policy not to unfriend people. Until they unfriend <laughs> me. Yeah, until, they, until, they, until they've had enough of my chiming in every time they spout some stupid shit. That... So I'm, I'm, I've gone through a lot of mental hula hoops or jump rope or whatever you call it. Mental loop hoops. I've jumped lots of mental hoops. And one of the things like, are you better than the person you hate? So when it came to Trump, it was like, or Voldemort or whatever, when it came to him, it was like, um, am I better than him? Like, do I, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to, um, it's hard not to be. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, let ye who is with no sins cast the first stone type shit. I'm always like, I can't, I can't go adamantly say, hey, this guy's shit even though i do say this guy's shit no 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 he is shit i know yeah that's what i'm saying like but i have to be like all right if i was in a position of strength what would i be doing that's hilarious though it's like i'd say about maybe half his followers are smarter than him yeah and they have no idea about it like they 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 no because if you were smarter than him you would know just by his articulating the way he he his rhetoric just with his rhetoric you know he's not if you were smarter than him no, they're, I'm they're, sorry. They're, that does that sounds horrible for me to say. Yeah, because he's just. I mean, he is so. He is so blatantly stupid. And I mean, so aggressively, like uninformed. Mm-hmm. And some of his followers know he, what he says is stupid, but they love it because it triggers lip gloss. Hmm. And it's like, so are you saying that a lot of people, almost fifty percent of the U.S. population, no, fifty percent of his followers, fifty percent of his followers, feel that um, triggering something brings them joy? Yes, because they've had enough of cancel culture. They've had enough of. Uh, but isn't that cancel culture new? Or just the the term is new. The term is new. But we've been doing it. But like. You know, it's it's the whole thing like, you know, marginalized people are getting rights and now they feel they have less rights. So now, like, cis white men, cisgendered white men feel like they have less rights. So they feel like all of a sudden, like all these marginalized groups have more rights than them. So they get angry about that. And it's... Yeah. But it's extremely not true. Like, it's... Yeah. How could you have less rights? You just have... You're just less at the forefront and less as this put... You're... You're seen less as a perfect thing and more of what it really is. And that is... I mean, like, like think of, look at some of the memes they share. Like, the whole, like, you know... I'm going to, I don't I'm never going to apologize for being white and straight <laughs> hey bitch nobody was ever asking you <laughs> I know <laughs> bitch please <laughs> Facebook says that uh, you can't say uh, Jesus is the son of God well I just did I get it no that's another meme oh is it I've never yeah there's, there's another meme where they're, they just be like Facebook says you you offend people by saying Jesus is the Son of Does God really and they'll go? take it down. Do they really? They'll delete it. They don't delete it. Oh, okay. They'll be like these posts are like five months old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but they share them. They share them thinking that you know that, that, that they're true. under attack. Yeah. And that uh, it's like no one's deleting your. Dude, can I tell you something super creepy? What? So uh, my my internet's been cutting in and out for the last few days, and I was watching Eureka, and uh, the sheriff he's like, um, 
you know, so what's connecting these people? And then, um, then he's like, or what's not, or what's disconnecting them? And right at that moment, my internet shut off. <laughs> <laughs> like, right when he said disconnecting, it's like, Tut! I had to call Spectrum. They reset it to, to full. <laughs> But it's but it, but you know what I mean. Like, what is making them feel disconnected from the rest of the American population? You know that they feel like they need to act out in that way. It's a symptom of a greater greater problem. Well, it's like uh, you know the whole like nostalgia thing. They they it's uh, a lot of people have nostalgia for times like they, the good old, good old days. Yeah, when prior nine eleven. No, well not no not just that, but. The good old days when they were like ten years old and they didn't have to worry about paying yeah. rent or and buying they, food. They hadn't, they're, but they're, they think those are the good old days. Yeah, they hadn't come to the full realization that 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 was. It sucks for adults throughout the entire time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm starting to realize that now. You know, now that my kids are like fourteen and nine, my girls' birthdays on Sunday. Um, you know. Like, all the shit that you're just, like, in la-la land about, you know, and, and you're, you know, like, I just remember being in the car, and my dad used to chronically listen to NPR every single goddamn morning, one-hour commute to the city, and it was just, like, NPR, or I love that one, this is something, 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 you give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world, and it would cycle every two to 22 minutes. It would be a segment on weather, on politics, on news. On like everything I don't remember it But I think it was on NPR Or one of the AM stations But it was like He was always on it You know what I mean My parents were on it I mean yes everything was wonderful And gas was like a dollar But like There was always shit going on You know It was the Bush Before Clinton shit And then it was The other Bush And then there was Reagan And you know like On and on and on and on and on But I did like that Kennedy saying I did like that Kennedy saying, and I was thinking about it a few days ago, you know, and ask not what you could do for your country, but what, you, what, what your country could do. How does it go? What your country could do for you, but what you could do for your country. Yeah. Because it's like we're expecting, I think Trump supporters are expecting like, hey, I'm your president. I'm going to fix this, this, and this, and this, and this. No, what we need is a president that's like, all right, we're, let's all work together and get shit done. You know what I mean? You fucking vote for your local elected officials. Uh, you decide to volunteer more, you know, get involved. And it's not like, hey, let me sit back and let the president take care of every little nuance around me when that's actually literally fucking impossible. You know what I mean? The president can't fix everything. That's not decentralized government. You know what I mean? And that's that's bad. You see, the Republicans think that they want decentralized government and then they're voting for a president that's like making everything harder and harder for the on the local level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like getting who out of it and getting the fucking, the, what is it called? Center for Disease? Yeah, CDC. The CDC. You know what I mean? So, who knows? Yeah. So are you celebrating? Are you indifferent? I'm relaxing. You're relaxed? Because everything's going to be quiet for like a day, and then it's not going to be quiet at all. What do you mean? I'm worried that let's say November inauguration is January twenty first, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm worried that between now and January twenty first, a lot of shit's going to happen. A lot of shit's going to happen, or he's going to try to undermine Biden's position by enacting whatever whatever yeah there's gonna be a lot of lame duck stuff going on yeah so i'm worried about that um yeah because he's already he's already uh he's already uh fired people really that shouldn't be fired hmm. but can't i didn't just hire them again all, all over i mean if they're good Maybe. people i don't yeah. know i saw that freaking swearing in for the justice that fucking angered the crap out of me yeah. As long as he doesn't figure out a way to declare martial law on or or instigate people on American soil then or or facilitate that sort of thing. 
Oh, then we'll then we'll be fine. Then we can look forward to four years of calmness, of maybe working togetherness. Well, the thing is that it's going to get worse before it gets better, Usually and a does. lot of people are going to blame Biden for it. Yeah, just like every time that it goes, somebody goes into office, it takes a little bit. Yeah, yeah. which is why, like you know, Trump was was resting on the laurels of the first year of his office when really it was just all like yes. carryover. <laughs> Supposedly, the Kennedy files were supposed to be de- declassified this year, and he pushed it back to like twenty four or something or twenty. 20- 2021 20, I think he did yeah there was the, 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 that 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 tax cut that mostly if mostly uh, benefited the rich all the benefits for the middle class are going to disappear in 2021 well then maybe he could do something to counteract that you know it's difficult yeah. you know it's, it's, it's well it's 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 hard to work that in that time frame because it's going to be like right after he gets in yeah I think two terms for Biden would be nice. It's not going to be... No, he's not going to survive. He's not going to make it through the full term. He's not going to what? He's not going to make it the full term. Why? He's old. He's not that old. You're fucking old. <laughs> You're like, I might not make it a term. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he hey, might, but then there's Kamala. He, I, know, he might live. I was, I was listening to her speak the other day. And it wasn't that bad. All cops are bastards. No, I, I understand that. But... It's less the fact... She's not a cop now, is what I'm saying. She's not a cop now. All cops are bastards, but she's not a cop now. So now she just has all the training. Like, Tony has all the military, ex-military training. You know what I mean? He's not in the Marine Corps now, but he has all the training. And a lot of that means you keep a cool head. You try to be authoritative. You know... I don't know if she was special fucking forces, but they drown those bitches. They bury them in fucking coffins for a fucking 12 hours or six hours or an hour or whatever it is. You know I what I mean? City, like, I think she was a city prosecutor or something. Hmm? She was San Francisco's pros- uh, San Francisco... Uh, Chief? Yeah, no. I what. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what she was. I don't know too much about her, but, but shit, if she's a hard ass, let her be a hard ass. She was a cop at one point. But, like, if a cop walked down the street, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, are you going to arrest me? And I'm not going to... Dude, the other day I was walking, I went to the Dollar Tree with my kids. There was these two motherfuckers with huge-ass guns packing. They had their freaking badge on their belt as well. But what are two... Like, this was off of, you know, where I live. So it's like, why are these two white, tall fucking guys... And their guns were long-barreled. You know, I don't think that's standard issue. My son's like, well, you don't know if it's a silencer. I'm like, God damn it. Why would they need a silencer? (laughs) But the barrel was like this big. The whole full gun was like this big. Yeah. It was a huge ass fucking gun. That's not standard issue. What the hell are they doing walking around with giant fucking guns in the South Wedge? What were they doing? Stirring up trouble. I don't know. But I like... I like, <laughs> I saw them, we come around the corner, I see them like right across the street, and I'm like, ah! I did like a little squeak, and then he looks at me, and he's like, hello! <laughs> and I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, I, I, like I, I, I'm an avid supporter of guns, right? I love my guns. Give me a gun. Let me, let me shoot a fucking squirrel. <laughs> let, let me shoot a deer if I need food. You know, like, I'm not f- for sport, but, and I'm not in for defense necessarily. You know, like, but I'm in it, you know, to have it if you need it. Uh, but I'm, not, I'm not with the, mil- I mean, but then again, the whole militia, the right to bear arms, you know, I'm all for that. It's the fetishism about it. Yes, it's a, yeah, it's, for me, it's like, it's good if you can have it, you shouldn't be able to not have it. Do people do it to excess? Yes. Should they do it to excess? Definitely fucking not. But like. Yeah, my uncle, my uncle has a. Uh, I have two uncles that have bunkers that are <laughs> uh, in the middle of Pennsylvania that are, like, all suited up for the race war. Do you have their <laughs> coordinates? Because if it does happen, we can go get it because we're closer than they are. <laughs> no, that's, they live in Pennsylvania. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you never told me about these. But that's cool. Yeah, I know people, much. right? We know people that have Ooh. all this bullshit. But that's fine. You know, you're allowed to. You have the right to bear arms. Um, you know, I, when I did my whole speech with my kids, when we did the flag... I, I wouldn't flag. be able to show up with you, though. What? I wouldn't be able to show up with you. 
Like it would, would, they, would they really be that bad? Like I said, they're gearing up for the race war. <laughs> Holy shit. The race war is not going to be the race war like they think is going to be a race war. It's definitely not. I'm a lot more... Yeah, anyway. But yeah, so what we're talking about? I forget. I think that makes it about 20 minutes. I usually like to keep it between 20 and 30. Okay. But yeah, no wait. So, 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 um, so last thoughts? You think it's going to get better before it gets worse? It's going to get worse before it gets better. Worse before it gets better? A lot of things are going to be blamed on Biden that are actually Trump's fault. Mm-hmm. Biden's going to be not that great because he's going to be more conservative than than anything and he's going to be labeled a socialist no matter how Republican he is and and no matter how much he reaches across the aisle the conservatives will always be like no he's not com- compromising with us and but well, we won the house and we won the senate too though no yeah we did yeah we did or the democrats did no I'm pretty sure we did last I checked so let me double check right democrats now democrats lost a couple seats in, this, in congress and I think it's I forget where it's at on the senate and it's, it's, it's still up, up for grabs for the senate it should have been a blowout no we still have there's still four unaccounted seats we still could win the senate and the house yeah we definitely got the house yeah, well, but we still need four there, they too. Lost, they but... lost seats. Yeah, but still, we're still the majority. Yeah, but they lost seats. Because that's where... Because yeah. they, Biden was appealing to Republicans, and he told Republicans to go out and vote. And the Republicans were like, well, I'm voting Republican except for Trump, because I don't like Trump. Hmm. And then, you know... Well, I guess that one's still up in the air. We'll know, like... Right. It all depends. It all depends on who's in charge of the DNC next year. Yeah. Oh my God. And then Biden has to assemble his team. Democrats assemble. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it depends. <laughs> like, if it's like, if it's one of these old guard people that just like, you know, like they 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 come from the Hillary Clinton camp. Yeah, you know, it's just gonna get worse. Mm-hmm. All know. right. So, but any positive positive uh, predictions? Anything that's positive that you see happening? I see a few. I mean, it's... Trump's going to cause so much more chaos before it leaves. About the, like, regarding the pandemic, it's going to take forever to fix. Yeah. I am. I and think we and, are and, on and, a and by the time it gets out, it's like the only way to fix it is like through social engineering that conservatives are not going to want to. Yeah, come but in then line again, with. but then again, that's what pushes societies and civilizations to do better, right? When they're on the brink of like some disaster, or they just fall. Or, or yeah, we get a, you know, yeah. There's that. We'll see. We'll see. Ryan, I said positive note, god damn it. <laughs> or Mr. Hugh, I said positive, god damn it. <laughs> Give me something positive. What happens after the worst has happened? Um, There's still a chance that uh, our insurance won't be disseminated. That's always good. Yeah, you know, Trump was actively trying to kill me. Yeah. People that are high risk illnesses or long term pre existing illnesses. Yeah. Well, I think that. Even, I mean, us winning, even slightly, even us taking back the seats, I thought it was going to be, you know, worst case scenario. Ah, plug in. Anyway, I thought worst case scenario, it was going to be, he was going to get two terms. So I'm glad that it isn't. I'm glad that it's one term. We can repair something. 
rather than have it go on for a fucking decade almost a decade you know what i mean you know i had a dream that a better case scenario would be if biden lost but we won but but the democrats won the senate like overwhelmingly mm. and then just impeached him like yeah. the next day that would have been great that would have been great why didn't you manifest that put that in the universe i tried you gotta work with people brian so if you're doing lots of this talking where people are just you try to smack the stupid out of them you know maybe it's time for you to go it the other way you've tried that what smack stupid into them yeah (laughs) no smack smack something better into them uh, Take a do uh, an offensive position now. Now that you can, now that you know. I mean, because I had my conversation with the kids, you know, the thirty long minute one about politics and shit and what they want America to be. I told you, my son chose peace, my daughter chose friendship, and my other daughter chose equal rights. I chose freedoms. So we had our like words of what we want America to be, and mostly what I want, Amer- they want America to be to them. You know. Lena was all about equal rights and Black Lives Matter. Luna was all about friendship. You know, I explained to her right now there's a big divide. And she's like, no, I want us to be friends. And there was a, there was a, there's a fancier word for that or a more political word for that. But she, I love that she chose friendship. Jay chose peace. You know, he doesn't want to stress out about politics is what he said. So, so yeah. So if if I'm only 32 and I'm going to be a voter for the rest of my life, I mean, that could be up to a good 50, 40 years, you know? I mean, if I'm lucky. So, well, not lucky if I, you know, take care of myself and all that bullshit. But, like... The earth is not on fire by then. Yeah. If the, Well, what? <laughs> by 2050 it might be. I don't know. But... But anyway, so there's positivity. There has to be positive things positive is that now we can just breathe a little easier you know uh, we could have more more hope for the future I mean he was under the whole campaign of hope you know four years ago five years ago so I don't know I don't I don't think it's all lost I don't think it's all doom and gloom I think yeah everything always gets worse before it gets better but I don't think it might not be it might not be as bad as we as we fear and i think it's best to stay positive yeah just like but like in four years we're not going to be up against you know in four years isn't orozco viable for presidential nomination she said she would be she said in her future she's not going to stay in the thing forever that'd uh, be so fucking righteous dude dude <laughs> I think she needs to I think she needs to be a little bit more mature for that. Just a little bit. Like she needs What, you mean like Alexander Hamilton? Talk less, smile more, don't let them know what you're Is that what you mean? You like just a, want her to be more politically suave. Oh yeah, I like to see her in like a cabinet position first or a senate position. Or a yeah, governor. but but, but awesome we governor. just we just <laughs> vo- voted in Kamala. Does she have any of those qualifications? No. So why not? Don't put don't put limits on her. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, Kamal's also like thirty years older. <laughs> no, she isn't. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> she looks good for however old she is. Oh, uh, she's not. She's not thirty years. She's like twenty. She's like twenty some odd years older. Yeah, but still, Kennedy was fucking our youngest president. And my God, he brought a lot of people together and made a lot of good fucking decisions. Yeah. But you're still like 10 years older than 35. Doesn't matter. You honestly, with our, the way the youth is going, the youth is more involved now than ever. They're more aware. Plus also, the thing is also, when you become president, after you become president, you can't really do much more. Yeah, but if she would rather be a change. And that's up to her. Yeah, like, I'm saying, her like, it's like I'm saying, like, it'd be better if she just worked her way up and made change, like, made changes along the way and then topped it off with a nice presidency because there's there, we get a we get a lot more but, use but out the, of her but the toes she's stepping on you know who knows we get a lot more use out of her if she rose 
like steadily. slow and steady yeah yeah we would but you know or you somebody know, else might come out like that yeah i'm just saying that you know this could start be the start of a trend of a positive you know couple decades you know we are old enough as a country now and we're mature enough some of most of us also worries me is that there's very few others that are like her yeah what we got to do right now is find a candidate that motivates the what 20 percent that didn't vote yeah that haven't been voting because what they're off the grid or they don't care they don't think their vote matters actually like that. actually katie porter sounds familiar but i don't know she's um maybe i'm thinking i can't of another remember Katie. she's uh, uh, it's too early in the morning for me. Uh, I can't, Dude, it is uh, literally like 1 p.m. Shh. They don't need to know that. All right. No, it's yeah. it's 8 in the morning. You're right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll talk we'll talk at different projections later. But yeah, I think this this is this is a good thing. Positivity, right? All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sign off, sign off. Say, hey, this is blah, blah. Hey, this is you. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs> and this is Harley. Any good? Thank you. Ugh.